Brave Souls, Sonic Legacy 12 here, and welcome to another edition of Legacy Extras. This is uh, another uh, showcasing for the Noctis DLC uh, release that just happened, as of said yesterday, at least at the time of this recording. So basically, we've already worked through the first two sessions. One was to just learn the move sets and practice at least the first 20 moves. Also, we just did some really crazy player matches and rank matches. Uh, of course, the player wins didn't turn out as well as I hoped. The rank that was way, way too unexpected, but hey, at least I won that. <laughs> but anywho, this here is now actually just to showcase the Hammerhead stage. So, of course, this is the gas station in Final Fantasy 15 where you first arrive to when you start the game. So, of course, you'll see some familiar, uh, familiar Easter eggs, and so at least during the time on there. At least, I haven't gotten to fully look at anything besides from the trailer, but let's go ahead and get into it. Alright. Prompto and everybody in the background, jeez. Yeah, they kept the music too! Oh man, perfect! Alright, so let's first, before we get started, I'm gonna take a look around. Alright, so there's Sid and Cindy. That's that's wonderful. And they kept the same car that's sitting in the background too. Holy crap. Golden key signage is sitting right over there. Uh okay, and yes, I, I know I'm freaking out a little too much, but hey, Final Fantasy 15 is actually the first fledged Final Fantasy game I uh, got to actually play from start to finish. So I fell in love with this game so hard, and I don't know why, but it's wonderful. And there's those freaking uh, the little keys for the map, or at least destination to the uh, next mission or so, <laughs> sitting right in the back. Like, right in front of Noctis' arm. Actually, I could move around a little bit. Wait, stop it. Stop. Okay, I guess not. Oh, well. And Chocobos, nice! <laughs> Bruh, and there's actually the item pointers too, like right there. Just, ah, uh, I, I can't even find the right description to point to it, but yeah, that's, that's just beautiful. And there's the diner, and the actual uh, trailer that you can rest to gain EXP from to end the day after you're done with several missions. Oh my gosh. Now, as far as anything like stage environment, changes. I don't believe that there was any specifically for it, but... There's uh, Ignis to the right. Or, sorry, left. Ugh. Right to the left, and then Prompto sitting right there, and now Gladio is right there. There he is. So, not much else left, and I don't know if we could really take the battle. Oh, it stepped away for a minute, Gladio. You, you scared, and you're supposed to be the badass one. Alright, yeah, I don't think there's much to really do. Can't really progress too far. That's it. so it's pretty much just a confined ring from the looks of it. So, yeah, that's just about it. At least from what I, what I can see, at least. So, anything else notable? Well, there's that awkward, uh, I guess, gate in the far distance there. I forgot where that led to. I think that was one of the dungeons. Anything else out in the open I can see? No, that's about it. Exact Actually, I think that mountain right above uh, Geese's right shoulder, I think that's actually where the Adamantois is supposed to be at. Huh. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything much else to, uh, to see here. That'll just about do it. Alright. 
So not bad, not bad for uh, environment looks and all. So basically, again, a confined ring, not really much of stage transitions, such as like the jungle or the other, like, I guess the ruin stage, where you were actually able to fall down deeper in to the stage. But anyways, basically, again, confined ring, uh, some notable Easter eggs and uh, notable environments. Of course, you have whole entire Final Fantasy 15 party sitting in the background. It's Ignis, Prompto, Gladio, uh, and of course some other familiar faces. So, yeah, not bad. So, I do hope that this, uh, this at least was somewhat okay, uh, given, again, I'm trying to kind of change things a bit from what I did with the Street Fighter uh, DLC coverage, so... Uh, hopefully, again, this helped, and if it did, uh, please go ahead and hit the like button, because at least that knows I did something right for once, and uh, um, if not, of course, please do leave feedback, because I would like to try to get at least a little better with this, as far as more DLC coverage and other stuff in the near future that's coming up. So, with that said, thanks for watching, and uh, do check out awesome guys like Ghostly Gaming, Sega Collecting, and the Jesus Haircut, because they do have great content. So with that... Brave Souls, Sonic Legacy 12 signing out, laters.